Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. In this video, we'll be doing the performance testing of the Xiaomi 15. The Xiaomi 15 is the latest device uh, from Xiaomi, the flagship device. Let's go to the about phone. Hypro is 2.0.1 and uh, you can see here Snapdragon 8 Elite is the device. Snapdragon 8 Elite mobile platform, 12 gigs of RAM and Android 15 and Hyper OS uh, uh, 2.0. That's the version. So we're going to do the performance testing. We'll see the CPU throttling test. How far the CPU throttles. Now the important thing to note is that it's a compact form factor. A compact phones always have thermal issues because managing thermals in a compact form factor uh, with a slimmer chassis and larger capacity battery is always a challenge. And uh, here let's see how good the thermal management is and uh, how how much of heating happens and how much throttling happens uh, when the CPU is uh, uh, stressed and also we'll uh, uh, look at the 3D Mark uh, Wildlife Extreme stress test and see the stability score of this device. So that's the test we are going to do. So, so before getting into the video, if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's begin. So this is the CPU throttling test. That's what we are going to do first. So this is the 15 minute test and it will stress the CPU and see how the performance is. So now we have completed uh, the CPU throttling test and you can see that the battery dropped from 82% to 70% uh, and the CPU throttle to 78% of its max performance which is quite good I would say uh, it's not bad actually 78% is quite good for a flagship device and a compact form factor makes it uh, quite good so this is the throttling test so 78% is the throttling and battery dropped from 82% to 70% uh, that's 12% drop. So next let's see the wildlife extreme stress test this is again a 20 loop test so we'll uh, start off with the test we have completed uh, the wildlife uh, extreme stress test and you can see the best loop score as 5838 lowest loop score as 4934 and the stability has 84.5 that's quite good i would say for a flagship device and uh, it's a compact form factor i again repeat compact form factor means managing thermals would be even difficult now you can also see that the battery 50 percentage to 32 percentage 18 degrees uh, or 18 uh, percentage battery drain in the, the wildlife extreme stress test and you can see the temperature rose from 34 degrees to 46 degrees so definitely that's on the higher side 46 degrees but still this is an extreme stress test and frame rate was 22 fps to 41 fps you can see that the battery details here and the performance range so you can see here towards the end uh, it was slightly lower but otherwise it was maintaining uh, the stability so this is quite good scope uh, for uh, Xiaomi 15. Let's now see the anti to benchmark test. Uh, so we have already performed the anti to benchmark. So here are the results. So you can see here 24,48,414 is the anti to benchmark score. Let's go to the detail score. You can see that 5 lakh is the CPU score. GPU score is really good 10 lakhs and the memory score and the UX score. Now you can also see the uh, storage uh, result. So 1,63,530. This is UFS 4.0 and uh, uh, LPDD of 5 RAM, 5X RAM. So it's definitely the best uh, possible combination available right now. So this is uh, the uh, uh, anti to benchmark test uh, we are we are got um, testing the Xiaomi 15 and I also finally the Geekbench test so we also performed the Geekbench result here so 2905 and 8757 is a score 2905 is a single core score which is good and uh, 8757 is the multi core score because uh, you can see this is slightly lower than the other snapdragon 8 elite devices because the other ones have around 9 uh, 9300 9200 range this is around 500 values lower again the compact form factor might be playing some role here uh, but still this is really good score for the snapdragon 8 elite um, uh, device so that is uh, the performance testing of the xiaomi 15 uh, and uh, probably this is definitely good thermals in fact uh, this is much better than what we thought 
short because uh, it's a smaller form factor and thermal management would be an issue especially for gamers but this is quite good i would say and the stability score and the cpu throttling test score were quite good for a flagship with the smaller footprint so that was the performance testing hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day